What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good day to you. And booyah! And cool as the other side of the pillow. Those were the late, great Stuart Scott's catchphrases that caught the attention of Sports America uh, in 1993 when he joined ESPN. Well, there's something special coming up. We're going to talk about that. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment. I must say, Stuart Scott, when they talk about Trailblazers, his name has to be in that uh, mention in that that column because he was one of, of the first sports journalists, if not the first, to bridge hip hop, rap, and that culture to sports broadcasting. When he came to ESPN in 1993, some people frowned upon his style and his delivery, his catchphrases. Again, booyah and coolest as the other side of the pillow and can i get an amen from the congregation those were just some of the ones he would use during the highlights and it caught the attention of of us of people that look like me and again he was one of the the guys that i wanted to emulate and so now we're getting ready to get a a documentary on his life uh espn films will be uh, making a 30 for 30 documentary about again the legendary sports center anchor Stuart scott and he was first reported by deadlines valerie complex now uh according to some of the highlights that's going to be in this documentary i will i will quote from complex it says uh this film is currently in production it's going to tell the story of uh, the broadcaster Stuart scott who shattered preconceived notions of how on-air figures were expected to look talk act and think and in the process help bridge again like i said earlier hip-hop and black culture into the sports media mainstream uh, scott entered the sports journalism world determined to remain authentic and quickly established himself as a force to be reckoned with he drew admirers and critics for his unique style with references to hip-hop and other black cultural touchstones again so we getting a 30 for 30 on Stuart scott and i can't wait to watch it it's ironic i was watching like a marathon of 30 for 30 documentaries a couple of days ago and it never crossed my mind that Stuart scott should be the subject matter of one and i definitely believe he should be uh, again he's the guy that i look to uh before the stephen a smiths and all these other guys that came along it was Stuart scott for me it was even before him irv cross who was on the NFL today. This was back in the 70s, so I'm telling my age. And even Brian Gumble, Those guys kind of paved the way, but Stuart Scott, he was more he was more of my generation, especially with his his love of hip hop and just the way he talked and he he did his thing on air. Uh, I, I loved it. He was being himself, and I think a lot of, of black journalists, especially sports lovers, could relate to Stuart Scott. So again, don't know the release date on when this 30 for 30 is going to drop, but the, it's in the works. And uh, again, I can't wait for it to drop because I'm going to get my popcorn and I'm going to have a front seat because again, he is a trailblazer. He's one of the guys, again, that I, I looked up to and uh, we we miss him. Uh, we got a lot, a lot of different sports personalities in, in, in the game now, but I definitely think he's one of the ones that, that that's truly missed uh for me anyway that's all i can say so i'd like to know you you guys thoughts on uh, this upcoming 30 for 30 documentary that will be on the late great Stuart scott again the release date hasn't been set but keep it locked here i'll let you know when it's gonna drop and i'm definitely gonna check it out again make sure you leave a comment like the video subscribe to the channel click that notification bell to be alerted with new content and live streams is headed your way and make sure you hit that follow button and always it is a good day to be a Packer fan, as you can see with my mug. I'm Kendrick the Sports Guy. I am out. Peace.